Our second week at sea has found its end by now, and we certainly kept busy. We left Pula behind us, but not without having a proper goodbye with friends, once again. And we made our way further down the Istrian coast, collaborating with 20,000 miles in a survey, looking for living giant pen shells. After a night we headed on to the beautiful island of Crescent, where we met up with our friends from Deep Blue Explorers, and learned a bit more about permaculture farming and started the first of a series of cleanup missions. In recent years a parasite found its way into the Mediterranean Sea, wiping out virtually the entire population of noble pen shells in the Mediterranean Sea. We have participated in efforts to find life shells in the past and recorded one of the lone survivors during our previous season. This year we joined forces with 20,000 miles, once again to look for survivors. In the case of the southern end of Istria, sadly we were without success. After the survey session around Medjulin, we continued our way onwards to the Croatian islands. And of course we started with one of the jewels in the north, the island of Crescent. We just saw on Dolphin watch, looking out to the port and starboard side, and see what's coming up. Maybe some plastic patches, some, or yeah, maybe some dolphins would be nice. Any luck yet? No, oh, no. Nothing. Two plastic bags. <laughs> and just a few minutes later this happened. And on the island, we also met up with Deep Blue Explorers. We ran ghost net cleanups together in the past, so it was a visit we were already looking forward to. While they decided to move on to a more land-based life for at least a while, we did not want to miss out on the chance to meet them again, and of course, help out where we can. So for one day, we found ourselves helping to rebuild dry walls, setting up a garden, and help out clearing up a bit of the land where they are setting up a permaculture Zen center. Permaculture is um, a way of life. Permaculture regroups uh, the community, uh, sustainable living, uh, respectful agriculture, uh, how to use nature as a model to produce vegetables. And how and, to live in harmony with nature. It's exactly. basically the baseline. So you're looking at the connections of in and out of each variable or each species to each other and trying to connect, uh, connect the closed circle. So some, some vegetables are attracting some insects, some other repel are repellent. Uh, and therefore, if you put two, two different species together, they kind of like help each other to build a strong, uh, strong connection, and they are and, and grow health, more healthily. <laughs> yeah, more they are healthy supporting way. each other either like this or yeah. giving uh, to each other a nitrogen or carbon or whatever it can be. 
So it's just observing the nature and, and using this it as is an what example. we are now doing, observing the nature and observing ourselves as well. This is another part of the project. One is to be a case study or just an example of how to live more in harmony with nature and the other one would be how to live more in harmony with yourself. So in one year the plan is to have a beautiful garden that we already started, uh, planting the seed in compost, every way. Compost, a lot of compost. Yeah, compost, uh, try to diversify the ways of getting water, of getting basic needs really, a bit of electricity. Um, and forest gardens might come in a slowly in a garden. year. Food forest. Food forest. <laughs> this is this is a big project now. The first setup is the basic to have everything and to start a garden, which we are on the way. But the next year, I think the forest food forest would be a big happening and a project that we would need a little bit help from yeah. others and crowdfunded. Well, we are at the beginning now, so it's gonna be just type. Perma and Zen Center on Facebook, you'll find our page. Really? <laughs> Why not? Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Just look for Stivan. Just Stivan look is the permaculture on Tres in Stivan, and this is gonna be the first we're gonna become online soon. So, in case you want to learn more about permaculture, a healthy lifestyle, and of course meditation and finding a balance in life, make sure to look them up. But since they are both pretty good freedivers as well, we did of course also organize a beach and underwater cleanup together. Good morning everyone. Today we are going for a beach cleanup with Matthias Hello. from Austria. <laughs> Matthias, go, tell us why you are here. Uh, I want to be part of the project because uh, I haven't been to the ocean for a while and I started biology and wanted to do something practical. Even though there are many organizations working on the removal of marine debris from the ecosystem, Simple cleanups like this one are to date the best way to remove plastic out of the marine environment. So next time you see trash on a beach or while snorkeling, think about it and pick it up the fish will thank you. <laughs>